So hey there guys, what's good? Tino here and welcome to Hello World. If you're working on a project that needs really fast and accurate speech detection and you need to be able to tell when the user is speaking so you can do something in real time, like recording their voice and transcribing it to text or triggering an animation or calling a custom function, then take a look at this extremely small and lightweight model. The model is called Celero VAD and it's a pre-trained enterprise grade voice activity detector and it's incredibly easy to integrate into any application. In this video, I'm going to show you how the model works and how to use it. We're going to use it in a really simple voice activated chatbot interface that you can then take and apply to any type of application. All right, so let's start by taking a quick look at some of the key features that this model claims to come with. As you would expect on the README, they claim that this model has really good accuracy when it comes to detecting speech. And when it comes to speed, they claim that one audio chunk of 30 plus milliseconds takes less than one millisecond to be processed on a single CPU. And obviously using a GPU can improve performance. Like I said in the beginning, this model is really lightweight, so it comes in at 2 megabytes, which is key if you're trying to use this on a mobile device or in a web browser, for instance, like we're going to be doing in this tutorial. It's also trained on over 6,000 languages and performs really well on audio that has background noise. And a really important one, it is published under a MIT license, so that means it has zero strings attached, it doesn't need any keys or registration, it's completely free and we love free stuff. All right, so in summary, it's a really tiny model and it's really, really good at one thing, which is listening for your voice. It's a small thing, but it makes a huge difference if you're making something like a real-time speech application. Something like this really allows the flow of conversation to feel more natural if the user doesn't have to press a button every time they want to speak. So I've set up this really simple Hello World project to show you. And if you're using cursor, you can do this really quickly. So in the example, if I press this icon to turn it on, you'll start seeing that when I'm speaking, the circles around the icon react. And obviously this text over here changes every time that I'm speaking. So I have this up in Next.js and I'm using a NPM package called Ricky0123, which has a bunch of pre-made APIs that we can use to interact with the model. And the package is lightweight enough to run in the front end. You can use this model in Python, but in this video, I'm gonna be using JavaScript. And in this VAD package, there are two main callback functions that you need to look out for. The first one is on speech start, which is called when it detects somebody speaking and you put whatever you want to happen while somebody's speaking inside these brackets. And the second one is on speech end, which does exactly what you would think it would do. It triggers something to happen when somebody stops speaking. It also provides a small audio clip of what the person was saying while they were speaking. And with this little audio clip, you can do things like transcription to get out the words that were spoken or even edit the audio file to make it sound different. So in the example that I showed earlier, I have this little bit of logic at the top, which makes use of those two functions to set this is speaking flag to true or false. And when that happens, it triggers the very basic animation that I showed a few seconds ago. So here it is again, me speaking. I'm not speaking. I am speaking. So very simple use case but let's try to do something a bit more complex with it. Let's try to attach it to a text transcription model, which prints out what I'm saying. And then we're gonna have a go at attaching it to an LLM and a text-to-speech model. So it feels like we're speaking to an AI assistant directly. I'm using this model in my main project and I kept running into a problem when I was trying to make a real-time speech assistant that this model and package fix. A couple of problems actually, but the main one was when the AI assistant was speaking back, the microphone would pick up on that. And then what it's saying started to create a feedback loop of it almost speaking to itself. What I like about this package is that it seems to have really good noise rejection that cancels out the audio from the device speaker that you're using. So if your AI assistant is speaking, what it says doesn't get picked up in the audio transcription. Pretty small thing, but it was causing a lot of issues. So I thought I would make this video just in case anyone is looking for this particular fix, voice activated detection. All right, okay, so let's make this assistant a little bit more intelligent. We're going to be using 
the Grok API to provide most of the stuff we need. Firstly, we need to be able to convert our audio to speech. So we're going to be using the automatic speech recognition service. The good thing about Grok is that they have a free tier that you can use as a developer and you can use it to put together quick concepts without really paying for anything. I've never gone over the daily limit of using it. So if you were going to use Whisper through OpenAI, you would have to pay for it, even though it's a free open source model. And similarly with all of these other free models, if you are going to use other providers, you might have to pay for them. So we're going to be using Whisper for that. And for the LLM powering everything, today Meta dropped Llama Scout almost four or five hours ago. It's supposed to be extremely good multimodal and competes with the flagship models from Anthropic, DeepSeek and OpenAI. So we're going to plug that in there. It's a really big model. So let's see how fast it can produce tokens for us. Are we going to be able to use it in a real time speech setup like this? Okay. All right. So through the power of vibes, I've managed to connect all of those things together. And we have a nice little pipeline that takes your audio, converts it to text, takes that text and sends it off to a large language model to generate a response. And that response is then converted into audio. And using the Grok APIs, that happens really fast, which adds to the feeling of speaking real time to this AI assistant. I also forgot to mention that um, I'm using Cartesia to generate the audio, mainly because they have a really good free tier and you get a bunch of free credits to use every month. But obviously you can use whatever service you want. So this is one way of doing it. It has its own negatives and benefits of doing it this way. Another way of doing it is by using a multimodal model. OpenAI have a model that does this, but I think this Quen model is much better, mainly because it's free and it's open source. Hey there, can you count to three? One, two, three. Hey, are you able to tell the viewers to like and subscribe the video, please? Here's a possible script. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more great content. Anyway, I think you get the idea of what that does. Um, just wanted to make this video to show you guys what's possible and what you can do with, with this voice activated detection model. It's very small and really good at one thing, but that one thing makes a huge difference if you're trying to use it for something like this. It wasn't completely obvious to me when I was trying to make this. So hopefully maybe someone out there finds this useful. If you're still listening at this point, thank you for watching till the end. And keep an eye out for my next video. I think I'm going to try to make this into a voice activated agent of some sort where we can tell it to do stuff and it will go ahead and do those things. Thank you again and peace.